here with trainer Michael Fredman who's got super easy heading towards the Jockey Club Sprint this weekend uh, and obviously then on to the, uh, the Longines Sprint next month. Firstly, uh, Michael, uh, how's the horse arrived? Yeah, I'm really happy. I had a good look at him this morning before, uh, before he galloped and um, he looks uh, pretty much spot on, I think. His weight's good and um, he's eating and drinking well, so very happy. Did he, did he lose much uh, weight or condition on the way over? He lost about four or five kilos, which I was quite happy with. I think, you know, anything sort of around, that's a pretty good result. Um, and basically over the weekend, he, he put all that back on and um, he's pretty much right at about his race weight now. He was uh, on his own here this morning, but he's had his first look on the turf track. He, he seemed to go around nicely. Tracked on the right leg, which I was sort of most keen to see. Um, he's a very lazy horse, so um, saying to Ollie before the, the gallop, you know, if, if back at home, if I'd wanted him to have a solid gallop, you'd usually work him with, with, a, with a companion, but um, that wasn't to be this morning. But I, he doesn't really need a lot of work. I just wanted him to have a good look around. Um, Ollie was very happy, he sort of tracked on the right leg and uh, cornered well and um, yeah, I think uh, he's spot on. Um, obviously, you know, Rocketman came a, a couple of seasons back and, and performed well. Was that um, sort of a little bit of the inspiration to, to, to come to Hong Kong, obviously with Singapore based, you know, champion sprinter doing well before? Yeah, I mean, obviously Rocketman's pretty, pretty big shoes to fill. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, I think he's a horse that I've wanted to try and travel for a little while now. Um, he's sort of taken all before him in Singapore and um, being an entire, I've, I've sort of been constantly saying to the owners it'd be a good, good opportunity to take him away. And um, obviously this sort of fit in quite well with his program back at home. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I've, it's my first runner in Hong Kong and I'm looking forward to Sunday. Um, talking a little bit about the tracks, so I'm uh, looking at his form. He seems to be quite versatile, handling, handling any any type, and he's of, and also raced around this way before and earlier in his career. Yeah, he had two starts in New Zealand as a two-year-old. Um, this this way of going, so that hopefully stands him in good stead. Um, yeah, his racing style back at home is, is pretty versatile. He he's sat up on the pace in in six furlong races, and he's been ridden back a little bit further sometimes. So. I guess uh, we just have to wait and see what happens with barrier draws, etc. And, and Ollie will have a look at the race and see how it's going to pan out. But um, he's a pretty versatile horse. And obviously firm ground uh, won't be an issue for him. And the tracks here are quite firm at the moment. Yeah, I, just walking up the straight there before, I was, um, I was pretty happy with how it felt underfoot. Um, I don't know whether I'm just used to racing on really soft tracks back in Singapore. But um, I think it, uh, it's a lovely surface and um, he seemed to enjoy it. And uh, hopefully that'll be the case. Well, uh, all bodes well for the weekend. We wish you luck and uh, look forward to seeing you in action. Thanks very much.